Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel tutorial for beginners. Now in the previous tutorial, we see how we can insert data to our database. We uploaded our some text and also images in our database. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can show all those data from the database to our Laravel view. So first of all, uh, we'll just create a view. So let's go back to our uh, web.php and over here, let me just copy uh, on route from here, control C and i'll paste it over here and here let's just say here uh, view only view and this function name will be view as well so now we'll go to our home controller and create this view so let's go to our home controller and let me just go down and over here i'm just going to say public function then view and from here let's just uh, say return view and we'll say let's say inside this view let's say display now display will be our blade name so let me just save it and we do not have this display.blade.php so we'll go to our views and just right click over here and then uh, click new file and here we are going to say display.blade.php so now let's save it Control s and save so here uh, we'll remove it and we'll just say some simple html and inside this body let's just say uh, h on let's just say over here display so now let me save it now here in the web.php we write get slash view so in the url over here we are just going to say slash view and if you press enter here you can see display so we are going to have a table over here uh, where it will show all the data that we have in the database so for it uh, first of all let's just create a table in the display.blade.php uh, let's just say over here display data from database in laravel and here uh, let me just create a table and inside this table we will show all the data from our database we will say table and here we are going to say tr and let me just write another tr now this tr will be for table header and this tr uh, will be for showing all the data from the table so inside this tr let's just say td let's say over here a student name and after the in the second td we will say email uh, and at the third one we are going to say image so let's say td then image so if you save it now and if we just refresh over here you can see something like this uh, display data from database in laravel and here this is a table you can see but uh, let's just give a design to this table so for it uh, we are going to say here in the table we are going to say border let's say on px and let's also say here align it will be center and if we save it and if we now refresh here we can see uh, we can see the table in the center now i'm not going to do too much design over here because uh, this is a tutorial for teaching you laravel not html or css so let's go back to our code and here inside this tr let's just add uh, 3td because we have our hair 3td so let me just say our hair td and let me just copy it Control c and i'll paste it two times now if you say anything over here inside the td and save it and refresh you can see them like this so we are going to remove those p but uh, let, let's just keep it for now now let me just explain something now if you go to web.php here you can see for uh, slash view url uh, we are calling the view function from the home controller and from the home controller we are returning the display view which is this one so so we will also send the table data from this uh, public function view so we are going to send the data of the students uh, from this uh, function view so for it first of all we need to declare a variable so let's just say dollar uh, data or you can say student anything you want let's just say dollar data and, and here we need to mention our table name and our table name was student student and then we will give two double clone then we'll say all then two first bracket and this one so it means it will get all the data from our student table and store them in this dollar data variable and so we need to send this dollar data variable to our display view so for it we need to give a comma then need to say compact and inside it we are going to say data so now we will be able to get all the data from the student table 
in our uh, this display plate and since we want to get all the data from the student table so we also need to add the model of student at the top and we already did this so now we will directly go to our uh, display.blade.php and here uh, if you just write over here two second bracket and inside it if you just write dollar data and if you give this arrow sign and if, if you just say here name and if you save it and if you refresh you will see a error because the reason is in our database we have multiple entry over here so in order to catch multiple entry we need to use a for each loop so we will say over here at the rate of for each and inside it we are going to say dollar data as now this dollar data is coming from our home controller from here you can see data as and then we are going to say let's say dollar uh, let's just say student and here we are going to say student as well now this student is actually this one so after name uh, we have the email so let's just let me just copy it and let me paste it over here and we'll say here email and we'll uh, show the email later and since we are using for each loop we also e need to in this for each loop so in order to in this for each loop we will say at the rate of int for each just remember that uh, we started our for each loop before this tier and we ended our for each loop after this closing tier so if you now save it and if you now refresh over here you can see all the student name over here so now we'll show the image over here now let's go back to our code again and now in order to showing image we need to use image tag so we will say img image and inside this image uh, we need to give the image source now if we just say over here uh, copy this and paste it over here and if you just say here image and save it and if we refresh it will not show us the image here we can see it will not show us the image the reason is we actually save our image inside the public folder inside this student folder so we need to say over here student then give a slash and if you now save it and if you now refresh you will be able to see the image which is like this so the image is too big let's also uh, resize their length let's just say here height it will be on 50 and width it will be on 50 as well so if you save it and if you refresh now here you can see the image height and width like this which is a little bit smaller than before and those two images is missing because we do not have those two images in our database let me just mention it that here you can see name email and image now all those name is actually over here you can see name email and over here image you need to write them exactly like this otherwise it will not work so this is all for this tutorial in this tutorial i showed you how we can show all the data from the database in laravel so in the next tutorial i will show you how you can delete those data from this view so thank you very much for watching and if you like this video then let me know in the comment section and if you have any problem then also comment below i will try to give you the most proper and easiest solution thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned stay healthy